Hello students, today we will study unit number 2 AC circuits in which we will understand the pure inductive circuit. So in this video, we are going to understand that uh, why in the case of pure inductive circuit, current lags behind the voltage by 90 degree or you can say pi by 2 and why power factor of a pure inductive circuit is 0. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay, so first of all pure inductive circuit means what that it is such a circuit in which only and only inductor is used as for example over here we will take one uh, inductor whose inductance is L and that inductor is connected with one AC supply of V volt is equals to Vm sine of omega t. Here Vm is known as maximum value of voltage or potential and omega t is known as phase. Okay. Also you know one thing that uh, in AC supply current is changing its direction 100 times in a second. So for our easiness we will consider that for a particular time current is flowing in clockwise direction like this and after that we can apply the Kirchhoff voltage law which is known as KVL. So KVL says what that uh, summation of change in potentials across a loop is zero. So over here we will consider one loop. So like that we will consider one loop in the direction of current in the opposite direction of current also you can consider then also answer would be same. Okay. Now over here what's happened? If I will talk about this uh, supply that current is flowing in this direction that means it will behave like a battery like this current is flowing in this direction that is positive that is negative so negative to positive loop direction is there so potential is gain so plus V I will write so that will be your plus V okay after that it will pass through the inductor and you know one property of inductor which one inductance property which will oppose the current that means if con inductor will oppose the current so how it will uh, oppose so inductor will induce one emf and that emf will flow the induced current in the opposite direction so that is your plus that is your minus and loop direction is like this that means we are going in this direction so we are going from positive to negative negative means what potential drop is there and potential of inductor is what you know very well l di by dt but with negative sign because potential drop is there so l di by dt which is equals to zero now we can write the same equation like uh, uh, l di by dt is equals to v now we can write di is equals to v by l dt now we can take the integration so integration of di is equals to integration of v by l dt integration of 1 di is what i is equals to now that v is what v is vm sin omega t so i will put the value vm sin of omega t divided by l into dt i is equals to now vm means what maximum potential which is constant and l is inductance which is also constant so make outside of the integration so vm by l integration of sin of omega t dt okay Next is what I is equals to Vm by L. Now integration of sin omega t you know very well sin x is minus cos x and divided by integration of this two terms. So omega is what constant and integration of t is 1. So it will be divided by omega. Okay. Now next I is equals to Vm that is negative sign I will make outside divided by omega L remaining is what remaining is cos of omega t now we will proceed further that i is equals to i is equals to minus vm by now students that omega l that omega l is known as inductive reactance so you have to remember and it is denoted by xl somewhere over here i will write xl is equals to what it is inductive reactance and its equation is what xl is equals to omega 
L and that inductive re reactance is nothing but one type of resistance whose unit is ohm. Okay, now uh, uh, proceed further that uh, cos of omega T. E. So I is equals to. Now this term is known as what that we will try to understand. We know Ohm's law. I is equals to. Uh, initially we will write V is equals to I R and uh, I over here V M is present. So V M is equals to I M R. So I M is equals to V M by R. So over here V M is present, but instead of R, which term is present? X L is present, and unit of X L is what ohms because it will behave like a resistance. So it is V M by X L is equals to V M by R. We can say so V M by that is volt by ohm. That is what that is current ampere. So that is your I M. So I will write. I am cos of omega t. I hope you are able to understand that instead of Vm by xl, why we are writing I am because Vm by R is what maximum current, but instead of R, it is your react, uh, inductive reactance and inductive reactance unit is also ohm. So Vm by xl, you can consider I am okay with that negative sign. That negative sign. Now we have the value of current, but in terms of what cos omega t, and we have that uh, potential value in terms of sine omega t. So we will convert that uh, current value in terms of sine omega t. How we can convert? Let us see. So I is equals to minus I m. Same equation can I write like this? Sine of uh, pi by two minus omega t. Yes, we can write why because that pi by two will do what? It will convert that sine function into cos function. Okay, pi by two minus omega t means first quadrant in first quadrant cos is positive. So okay, cos is positive. Negative sign is as it is. Okay, so I is equals to now negative sign. I will make inside. So I is equals to I m sine of minus minus plus omega t minus pi by two. So that is our current equation and the potential equation we have considered V M sine of omega t. Now, if you will observe this both equation one current and two potential, then we can say that phase of both of the equations are different. Over here, phase is omega t minus pi by two, and over here, phase is omega t only. Okay, so uh, how we'll find out the phase difference that you know very well that uh, phase difference is equals to what modulus of phase of V minus phase of current I. So phase of uh, voltage is what omega t minus phase of uh, current is what omega t minus pi by two. Okay, so that omega t omega t will get cancelled out. So phase will be pi by two. That means phase difference between current and potential is how much pi by two. Okay. Now also one more thing you can uh, conclude from both of this equation. What that as current is minus pi by two, so you can say like that that current lags behind the potential by pi by two. Current पीछे चल रहा है potential के. Supposing if it is plus. If it is plus, then what you can say? Current leads the potential by pi by two. यानी current potential से आगे चल रहा है. Over here minus pi by two. That means I can write over here what that uh, current lags behind the voltage or potential by pi by two or 90 degree for What for pure for pure inductive circuit? Okay, so uh, same thing we can understand with the help of phasor diagram also. In phasor diagram, I will draw one voltage vector, voltage across the inductor, voltage across the inductor, potential across the inductor, and uh, current lags lags behind. Peach is चल रहा है current. So ये Lags behind the current that is your 90 degree or you can say pi by two. Okay, so uh, that is the meaning of lags behind. It lags behind means pitch is going on that current voltage. Okay, now same thing we can understand with the help of uh, wave form also. So over here I will write a wave form. So in wave form, 
we will draw one time axis or you can say angular uh, distance you can say okay now over here i will draw one uh, waveform of potential which is v is equals to vm sine of omega t that will be your zero that is your pi by 2 that is uh, pi that is 3 pi by 2 and that will be your 2 pi for one cycle okay now what i said current lags behind the potential by pi by 2 so graph will be like this for current that would be the graph and over here value of current is what minus i m pi by 2 piche chal raha hai current potential se and that is what uh, that is your maximum value of potential which is plus v m and that curve equation is what i is equals to i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 means current lags current lags behind the potential by pi by 2 degree or pi by 2 or 90 degree okay now one more thing we will understand with the help of equation that equation which one reactive uh, inductive reactance is equals to omega l so we can say xl inductive reactance is directly proportional to omega y because inductance is constant okay so we will draw the graph of xl versus omega so over here i will draw that is your xl and that is your omega so graph would be a straight line like this that line will indicate what xl is directly proportional to omega that means if you will increase the angular frequency so inductive reactance will also increase similarly uh, we know very well that uh, xl is equals to omega l so xl is equals to omega is what 2 pi f into l in which 2 pi and l's are constant so we can say xl is directly proportional to frequency so that graph i will draw over here that is your xl and that is frequency the line would be straight like this that line indicate what xl is directly proportional to frequency and finally if i want to say about the power factor so you know very well power factor pf is what it is your cos phi and cos phase difference is how much we have calculated pi by 2 so cos phi cos pi by 2 value of cos pi by 2 is what zero so remember one thing that for pure inductive circuit power factor is always zero and current lags behind the potential by pi by 2 or 90 degree so uh, now i would like to end this video in the next video we will discuss about uh, pure capacitive circuit so till then read hard work hard thank you very much